What is going on guys, Dr. Snipers here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best way you can improve your Xbox One internet speed. Guys, there's a few ways you could actually improve your Xbox One internet speed. This also works for PS4. If you guys want, I could make a separate video if you guys don't really have the same setting screen as you as you would see on xbox but they are pretty similar and you should be able to get the um the idea that i'm showing here so all i'm gonna go do is go into my uh settings and i'm already connected to a wireless setting uh for my wi-fi and that's the main idea that i'm trying to get across is that that's probably not what you want to do if you have your uh internet box really close to you or your uh, modem really close to you then that's not as bad as having it really far away but um, the problem with having a, a, a non-wired internet speed, so wireless, is that you're going to get a lot lower uh, upload speed, download speed, and sometimes like higher latency, not all the time though. And that's not really what you want to do like when you're playing games like Fortnite, um, Black Ops, uh, really any game honestly needs high um, upload speeds and stuff like that. The thing you might not get with a wireless internet speed, although I do, is an open NAT type. So as you can see on the right side here under the uh, IPv4 and whatever, you see NAT type open. For games like Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare, if you have a um, mod, uh, NAT type that's moderate or strict, then you are actually won't be able to play with your friends and join their lobbies. But um, if you do have an open NAT type, then it's possible to join them. So that's probably the best NAT type you could have. Another thing that you could do if you don't have an Ethernet cord to fix that problem and you have to go on wireless is just try restarting your router. And that should, um, I'll honestly, that normally does fix the problem for, NAT, for uh, moderate and strict NAT types. I'm going to show you guys what I mean by connecting an Ethernet uh, cable and just going by wireless connection. So when you're on wireless, I'm just going to show you guys. So I'm going to test my network speed. So everything is good, so you guys know it's nothing, there's no cuts or anything right there, everything's good. Now we're going to go and test the network speed and statistics. This could take a second, probably up to like 5-10 seconds, but I won't cut anything just so you guys see that I'm not like lying or anything like that. So we'll just wait here for a second to this for this to load up. All right, so it has popped up, and you can see my download speed's at 112.20 megabytes per second. So that's not too bad, but it's obviously, it's not really the greatest, but it's honestly, it's probably like the average Wi-Fi. If we're talking about wireless Wi-Fi, it might be a bit above average. My upload speed's actually like pretty high compared to what it was previously. So it's at almost 16 megabytes per second, zero packet loss, which is good. I don't think the MT really matters. Latency's pretty low as well, 40 um, MS. I don't know what the MS stands for, but that's low, which is nice. And my wireless strength is only 88%, even though my router is right beside my um, Xbox. So like, that's another thing. My router is like probably one meter away from my Xbox, and I only have 88% wireless strength. So that's not really the ideal situation. What you, but if you do have an Ethernet cable connected, there's no wireless strength. You're getting the full, the full internet that you're supposed to be getting. So I'm gonna go. I'm not even gonna cut anything. I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna wire up my Xbox. So I'm gonna do that quickly for you guys. And I'm not gonna cut anything. I'm just gonna show you guys straight from me just plugging it in right there. All right. So. The network status should change. That type changing. Okay, so that type unavailable. It's wired. It should load up. There we go. All right. So it's that type open still, and now we're on wired. So same internet, everything like that. We're just wired using the same router. Now let's test our network connection. Should I say everything is good? Yep. And let's test the network speed and statistics so we could see the difference and the change in what the Ethernet cable does. So as before, I'm just going to let you guys sit here for about 5-10 seconds so you know I'm not cutting anything and you're seeing exactly what the difference is. Alright, there we go. So my download speed went up 200 megabytes per second. My latency went down five, so that's also better. Not not as not as good as it could be, but it's 
35, which is really low. As long as you have it, honestly, if you have it below, I'd say probably even 80, then you shouldn't be lagging too much. Your download speed, you should probably want that above, I don't know, probably above 100. And upload speed is the main thing you need to prevent lag. So my upload speed actually went down five. So I might have actually tested the wireless when I was like at a really good stage or something like that. Because last time I tested it before this video was only at 11. So your upload speed, if you guys do try it, it probably most likely 99% of the time will go up. There's more videos on this and pretty much everyone's upload speed goes up. Mine almost, mine just stayed the same. So I didn't really go down at all, which is not really a big problem because it was already almost at 16, which is a great upload speed to have considering that probably six and up is good. Packet loss is still at zero. The MTU is still the same, which I don't really know what that means. So as you guys can see, uh, the difference between wired and um, wireless connections and pretty much how much a wired connection can help you out in different games and pretty much always get you an open that type so you could actually get into those lobbies with your friends. If this doesn't really help you and you're already on a wired connection and you're still having lots of lag, especially in games like Fortnite, there's lots of videos out there on how to like uh, go into your, um, I'm not really exactly sure what it's called, but your internet like ports, I'm pretty sure they're called. And you can edit and change them so you can actually put, um, you could specify which, where you want most of your internet to be going. So instead, if instead of having it go towards your, I don't know, TV or something upstairs, let's say you have a Wi-Fi TV, you could actually center like 90% of the Wi-Fi's uh, capabilities to go towards the Xbox. So if you guys do want to know how to do that, just comment down below. I could show you, but that'd be an entire video by itself because it'd take probably over 10 minutes. I'm not going to include that in this video. And I'd also have to check out exactly how to do it because I don't want to mess anybody up. So if you guys did enjoy this video, however, make sure to leave a like, comment what you want to see next, and subscribe to the channel, because that would be greatly appreciated, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.